Who created God? When you talk to people that God created everything, they then go and ask you this question. Okay, so who created him? Is this a rational question? And what is the proper answer? Let's explore. Good day, everyone. So somebody might ask, if the universe needs a creator because there is a big bang and somebody needs to start the big bang and to create the material that banged in the big bang. But what if the universe itself was eternal and the big bang was just one of those events that are happening? And the answer is the universe cannot be eternal. Because if the universe is eternal, if it is infinitely old in time, then today there should be nothing for us to observe. All the stars should have lost their fuel and faded away, the galaxies are so far apart, and everything would have just faded into complete darkness. So for the universe to be the way we see it today, it has to be young. If the universe is young, it means that the, big the assertion of the Big Bang that there is a starting point is valid. Regardless, the exact thing that happened during the Big Bang and what kind of intervention happened, the universe is created. So then, I would propose to you that God has created the universe. But some people might say, or you might ask yourself, if God has created the universe because the universe has a start, who created God? And I'm offering you the opinion that this question in itself is not a correct question. Why? Because for you to ask who created God, you're assuming that God has a beginning, and by assuming that God has a beginning, you are assuming that God is subject to time. Time is a construct. In our universe, we understand time because there are physical things and they move in relation to each other. Space and time together create our reality. Our theories say that our time has started from the Big Bang, but God, who has created the universe, who has created space and time, is obviously outside time. Time is completely of no consequence to God. If a being is outside time, he does not need to have a beginning and there is no ending, so he does not need somebody to create him. The creator who created the universe, whom we call God, does not have a beginning or an ending, and he says this in his messages. He says, I have no beginning, I have no ending. I am the first, I am the last. In the different languages of his messages, he asserts this very, very, very clearly. But even if you think that, okay, some other God has created God, then you will have to ask about the second God who created the second God. And then you will go to a third and a fourth and a fifth. And this series of gods creating each other has to end at a point, at a God who has created everything. And since you will have to eventually reach this point, that for anything to have been created, there needs to be eventually a supreme being who has no beginning, who has created everything. So everything in between, between the real God and this universe, need not be invoked, at least because it is against Occam's razor or against parsimony. If there is a specific phenomena and you need to find an explanation, the simplest explanation is the most probably correct explanation. So if you have the universe, this beautiful and great and complex universe, and you reach the assertion that there must be someone who has created it, then it is one. Just one has created the universe. Just one God, he is eternal, he created the universe. It is the simplest explanation. So who created God? God does not need a creator. When did God begin? He is eternal because he is outside time. Who created the universe? God created the universe. This is the most logical, most obvious, and most parsimonial answer. Thank you for listening to this message. Please share it with those whom you love. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you have clicked the notifications button so you get 
all the notifications for the new episodes in time. Share the truth and stand strong because the truth is strong. See you again soon. Peace be upon you.